So this is basically, it, it describes itself as a roguelite or a blend of roguelite, souls-like, and extraction gameplay, which is basically all they needed to say to take my money. Um, this is very good. I've already seen some gameplay of it. It came out a while ago, but they've dropped like a really big update with a bunch of content, new classes, new enemies, new weapons, all of that. So I feel like now is a good time to finally... Uh, I guess sink my teeth into this. Continue. Wait, I don't want to continue. I just started the game to kind of test out the performance. Uh, I guess we're going to go new characters so we can choose the classes and all that. Let me see here. Continue. Oh, profiles. There we go. New game. The game was made by a small independent team of 12 people, by the way. That's crazy. A war rages between the witches and the remnants of humanity ruled by the church. Despite the numbers advantage, the church and its armies keep losing territories to witches and their foul magic. Bro, this baby is armed. He's got a spoon. He's ready to stab someone. In a distant land controlled by one of the witches, papal scouts discover a wreckage of a ship that had been lost for several centuries. It carried a valuable artifact, one that could change the course of the conflict. Okay. Continue. Only witch hunters called prayers can face a witch and live. You are one of them, anointed by the Pope himself to recover the artifact. The Papa? I love the Papa. After a long and arduous journey, low on witch fire that gives you unnatural powers, and with most of your belongings lost, you arrive at the destination. Okay. Uh, so we're called a prayer and this is one of the new things that they've added. I think they've made classes where before there was only one guy or maybe there were only like a few of them, but now they've added a bunch of these. And again, this is all like a free update, which is crazy. Um, okay. Let's see. We have butcher strong heals quickly or strong heals quickly has stamina of much younger man fearless in battle what lesser men mistake for anger and rashness okay hunter cunning fighter with a steady hand and no ego the mission is only the only thing that matters everything else is a mere distraction okay no sex slayer finds twisted delight in wielding witchcraft to dispatch the witch made abominations agile with a talent for close range combat shadow Respects witch magic uh, enough to avoid unnecessary risk. Why, why slit throats when a bullet from the shadow achieves the same end? Ooh, he's like a, you know, a big gun guy. Saint, an avid student of the fates. Uh, for, a, for as Publius Cyrus noted, against a lucky man, even gods are powerless. A luck build? Okay. Uh, and then Penitent, a hunted man, clawing for redemption in all the wrong places, cursed by his past and oblivious to the shadows looming in his future. So this last class is actually interesting. This is basically hard mode. I think they added this class in, in the description I read. This is like the class where everything hunts you down and like it's super hard if you want to really challenge yourself. I'm not going to do that since this is my first playthrough. Um... I've seen this guy because I started the game to test out the FPS and the audio and all that. Don't really like him a lot. Um, a hunter. He seems more of like a gunslinger type guy, like heavy fire, low low rate of fire type dude. I think I like that more. Um, and he has no distractions, so he's going to be good. Slayer. Twisted delight in wielding witchcraft to dispatch the witch made abomination. This guy is also good. They all sound good, to be honest. Um, hmm. I'll do Slayer. I'll do Slayer. He seems like he's a mix between this guy and this guy, kind of. Um, okay, do Slayer. And then you can see the details. Um, vitality. This is These are your base stats, basically. You just start with a Cricket, Hand Cannon. Okay, love me that. And a Lightning Bolt, which is your spell. Okay. Um, I guess there's stats that you can upgrade uh, since it's like a, you know, souls-like, roguelite type type ordeal. And then we got, okay, these are just the other classes. Okay, 
This is my guy. I'm gonna be a slayer. Alright. Here we are. Look at my little pistol. Okay. Yeah, this game... This game looks amazing. Like, visually... Everyone I've seen talks, like, very good things about it. Um, so, yeah. We'll see. So, I have V to dash, shift to run. C to crouch. C while running for sliding, jumping, and double jumping. Okay. Tutorial. To understand how a fight works. You have to fight millions. Be interact with prayer sigil. Gotcha. Follow the action lines. Okay. Um, well, they're giving you a bunch of directions, but yeah, stamina, combat basics, aim, fire, one, two, switch between weapons. Ooh, it's automatic. Okay. Three to switch to demonic weapons. I don't have any demonic weapons. All right. What about this? Melee and light spell. Whoa. Okay. The melee has a some good range to it god damn and then light spell if you have one hold for heavy spell okay i have my light spell which is the fire looking thing and i think it might be on a cooldown actually yeah i don't know where the cooldown is and i have a heavy spell which i don't have ow hell Oh, almost dead. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to heal. <laughs> they take your health when you step on that. Okay, well, that's for healing. And then calamity. Enemy mistake or every mistake you make, such as getting it hurt or triggering traps, increase the calamity bar. When it's full, the witch uh, believes your confidence is at its lowest and she will cast a calamity, her most powerful curse. Then you can try to find and destroy Catalyst, a giant witch fire vortex that powers the Calamity or fight the Calamity directly. Okay. Gotcha. And then we have Stamina 2. Alright, I don't have any potions. Dude, I don't want to step on this because it's going to take health and kill me. Oh, there we go. Inhale Elixir. I don't have Elixirs though. So I guess you heal with Q. Alright, thank you for the help. Mr. Revenant. Alright. It's looking good so far. So we got the basics of the combat. Um, let's keep moving. Dude, this game looks amazing. I hope it looks as good as on stream as it looks for me. Because, you know, sometimes the bitrate doesn't really do it justice. Oh, snap. An alchemist illusion made real. Apothecary. Alright. Is this like my hub area, kind of? Brew and grab potions. Um, brew potion. Angelica. So that's what I use to make my elixirs. Okay, interesting. Alright, so it's like a bit of crafting to it as well. And then we can step into this portal to start things out. Or we can keep going. So that's how you heal. Pop one of those little bottles. What's this? Ascension Shrine. Burned uh, incense and burned flesh. Okay. Ascend. Maybe that's how to make things harder or to move to the next levels. The Sanctuary. A refuge of hermits long gone. Reinvigorated by something. Didn't get time to read. Equip gear. Okay. This is where I equip my stuff. Dude, this looks cool so far. Alright, I don't know if all of this was in the game before the update. This is my uh, my first time playing it. Because, you know, they dropped the content. I was like, alright. It's about time. Uh, or about time I play this. You cannot comprehend this magic. Requires level 7. Okay. I think you spawn at level 6. If I'm not wrong. Yeah. You don't start at level 1. You just spawn at level 6. Interesting. Um... There we go. He's very scarecrow looking. Kinda. I think all the characters have masks. 
Um, and your mass, I think, changes when you use your abilities. It kind of lights on fire and stuff. Um, and we also have this. I'm just trying to get the layout to see all the things I can do. This area is currently unavailable. Okay. This game is still not out. It's still early access, by the way. Um, but, you know, it has more content than some AAA games right now. So It's good. Good stuff, man. Okay, I guess we start. We go in here, right? Start new expedition. Scarlet Coast. Okay, so you need different you need to level up different aspects of your character in order in order to go to other areas. Um so Scarlet Coast is the first one. You can see the shipwrecks uh of the, the flotilla at the beach darkened by the survivors' blood. Farther away, a small fishing village that looks abandoned and an old quar quarry. Uh, which defense low? Which fire gains 100%? So which defense is the difficulty and which fire gains is like basically the reward that you get for challenging yourself? And then we got a bunch of unknowns and unknown areas that we can't get to. Um, kill the witch's familiar and acquire resources and escape back to Hermitorium. That's what this place is called. Healing elixir, you got one. Uh, workshop research, none. Which fire at risk? Okay. Got it. Interesting so far. So there is loot. We can get other guns and craft stuff and everything. Find and kill the witch's familiar or gather witchcraft and treasures. I love witchcraft and treasures. Um, okay, let me see. Reach out to Restless Soul. Huh? Treasurer's Wisp seems to want you to follow it. Follow the Wisp. Oh. Do you have loot for me? Oh, when you aim at it, it like pulses. Alright. Hope this is not a trap. Oh god, it's a trap. Fuck. Okay, let me get the... I can melee. I can also do my spell. Oh. Interesting. Whoa. Okay, that guy hurts. Oh, he lit me on fire. Okay. Well, there's my elixir. Um, wait, I crafted more. Where do I get them? Inventory. Volatile witch fire. I guess you don't? I don't know how I crafted three of them. Oh, there's a guy. Wait, this guy's got a lot of range. What the hell? Relax. Okay, my gun is not very good at range. He just shot me with a gun. Listen, I'm gonna need one of those guns, please. Okay, so I need to remember I can dash. Maybe I need to modify my keybinds. I like having dashes and stuff on my mouse buttons. Listen, buddy. Where'd he go? Alright, now I'm scared. What the fuck is that? Alright, they're not very strong. They're just very scary. Okay, I think I killed that guy. Ooh, look at that. Alright. Dashing is going to be big. I can already tell. Collect crystallized witch fire. You fucking bitch. Yo, there's way too many of you. <laughs> right at the start. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> Yo, chill. I'm doing one damage a hit. This is, this is wild. Fuck you. Okay, the melee is big. I need a better gun for sure. This is low defense? Holy fuck. Oh, that chains. Oh my god. Wait, that was so good. It chains and it makes them more vulnerable to damage. Whoa. Okay, that guy's dangerous. He needs to die. Am I really gonna die like two minutes in? Please. Fuck off, please. Thank you. Okay, I gotta figure out how we can get more elixirs. 
Supply chest key. Okay. Low ammo? There's no fucking way. Am I supposed to do this without ammo? Okay, my, my spell or my strong melee doesn't... Uh, I can't do it, like, all the time. It has to recharge. Absorb manifestation. Arcane. Is this, like, a level up? Use white raven feathers to unveil. Oh, this is an unknown perk. Arcana. Heavy spell recharge. Faster heavy spell recharge. I don't have a heavy spell right now. Chance for a killed enemy to drop healing elixir. Oh. I'll get that. Drop chance 3%. Okay, now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't the best pick. But I think we can upgrade it so it will be better. And then we got stats. Where we can attribute... I'm assuming upgrade points. I guess the upgrade points are here. And then you can upgrade it at some point. This is the Ascension Shrine. Oh, okay. That's what that for. Okay. Uh, that's what that altar thing was for. Okay, I got a little bit more ammo. Uh, that was kind of crazy. That was kind of a, you know, pretty insane welcome party. What the fuck? Oh, he's actually shooting at me. <laughs> Wait, that's cool. That's really cool. Damn. This guy's crazy. Nice shots, man. Um, okay. I gotta figure out how to get more healing. I also gotta find that wisp again. I don't know where it went. I you know, kind of got distracted trying not to die, you know? This is cool so far. I like it. I have some supply chest keys. Maybe I can get stuff from there. I gotta find them, though. Oh, not again. I don't have the resources for this. Would crouching actually help me out here? Fuck. Nope. Okay, I gotta kill you. Just kind of annoying. Okay, it's only one guy. It's fine. I'm just gonna, like, take it easy here. You gotta find the wisp. I don't know where it went. Is that it right there? Those particles? Figure out how to get loot and ammo. Irritation portal pulsates and spews something out. Oh, for fuck's sake. You feel it to linger. It lingers at the portal, waiting to strike. Oh, like there? To kind of prevent me from extracting? Oh, I see a chest. Okay, going for it. The cave right there, too. Might be some goodies. Alright, I can double jump, which is good. Open. Demonic ammo. Okay. I wonder how I switch ammo types. Oh, another one. Oh, this is a locked one. Should be better. White Raven Feather. Okay, so that's what I can use to unlock the other perks. Gotcha. Alright. Oh. Should have crouched. I gotta sneak, man. I don't know if you can sneak. I don't seem to have spotted me. Can I assassinate? Nope. <laughs> that was not enough to kill. Okay, I gotta be very sparing with the ammo. It seems like only the ranged enemies drop ammo. These guys are pretty slow. But they explode, so I kind of have to use the ammo. Alright, that's my last 15 bullets. Oh, this guy has ammo. He's, he's a ranged dude. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, 10 bullets. I'll take it. Alright, cool. 
So the shards are like your souls, I think, right? Because now, uh, you look at my stats, I have 60 or 4,600. I think that's what that is. Yeah, you have these, you can kind of break them. Like, you know, like in Dark Souls and get souls out of them. I believe. Um, ready to unveil power. Visit gun room in the hermitorium. Okay. So you can upgrade. Oh, is this a thing? Oh. Consume. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think that was a good mushroom. But apparently you can eat mushroom. Deus Vault. Which fire in the area coagulates? Absorb manifestation. Oh, another upgrade. So I can unveil this. And it shows another perk. Increase weapon damage. Unfreezed enemies and damage or are damaged for a part of their maximum health. Faster stamina regen. Okay. We'll get weapon damage, you know, to kind of make our ammo be worth more, I guess. Alright, oh yeah, so I would go to the cave. Just kinda like trying to get my bearings here first. Get some good stamina. The regen is pretty slow. Well, I mean it regens it takes a while to start regening, but once it goes, it goes. Alright. Another mushroom test. Oh, 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 oh. That was terrible. Never again. <laughs> Why would you want to use that? Okay. Uh, you can't harvest it. You can only consume it. Oh my god, that was a big mistake. Things are like getting all red and shaky. I don't like that. It's very scary. I'm trying to see... My health... I guess maybe they're getting red and shaky because I'm almost dead. Do I have a map? Okay, I do. Dangerous area. Extremely dangerous area. Ammo chest. Oh, I should go for that. Dormant portal. This is an extraction game, so I could extract and come back, right? That's where dormant portal, an anomaly, and then arrival portal. You arrived, slowly seeing shut. Time left, none. Portal has closed. So I think... Um, yeah, yeah, so I think you need to go. This is like your extract. You gotta go there, you gotta fight, and you gotta reactivate it. Um, and you have which which is first familiar? Okay. Interesting. I think we like sneak around a bit. I got one area that was dangerous. I think we sneak around a bit and we go get ammo and then maybe we can find uh, health along the way. That's what we do. I'm assuming if I don't go to a dangerous area like that, for example, I shouldn't encounter any enemies, right? I'm like, dude, I'm I'm not doing mushrooms again. <laughs> I'm too scared now. I don't even have enough HP to experiment, you know? Can't break barrels for, like, try and get stuff. Okay. I gotta keep going. Hopefully the chest... I gotta go, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Just sneak around. Hopefully I can find ammo or health in the... Dude, I don't want to try the mushrooms. If I had a bit more HP, I would. Okay, there's a chest there. I just need one elixir. I can go back and try those white mushrooms. Maybe they're good. Just kind of know which ones to eat or and which ones to not eat. Okay. Just feathers. No health. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have elixirs. Okay, we'll see if we can do anything about this. What is that? Oh, snap. Oh, there's a thing there. Okay, so we should go this way now. If we want the ammo, I think it's up there. Hopefully, there's nothing around here that can kill me. Okay. Yeah, there's no way up. You have to go around. It also seems like that... Um, 
that yellow mushroom reduced my HP or it reduced my stamina. It kind of burnt a bunch of it away. Cliffside Pass. Okay, that was a new POI, I guess. Uh, This area looks safer over here. Get the ammo from here. What is this? Nothing? I can't pray for HP? Okay. Ammo cache. Right here. Please, I just need one elixir, you know? Collect ammo. Demonic ammo. Oh, wow. That actually refills everything. Um, and I got Angelica, which is what I use for to craft my potions. Okay. Opening portal. Oh, I can leave. Um, I think we do that. I think we do that. We leave, we upgrade, and we come back. Because, wow, that was... Whew. They, they, I got spanked right there. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that crazy. Um, but we got souls. We can upgrade and come back. All right, I like that so far. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let me see. So we can... I'm, I'm pretty sure I crafted three of these. Made two, stash seven. Oh, they're in my stash. Okay, I wonder if there's a way to access my stash within the raid. Um, Because they don't go in my inventory. Yeah, I only keep one of them in my inventory. Maybe I can upgrade like my belt or my inventory later to um, to be able to get more or carry more. All right, so now we can use this with our souls. We can use this altar looking thing. Healing efficiency, healing duration. We can upgrade vitality for HP. We can upgrade endurance for stamina and dash length. Witchery, witchery, it's kind of a funny word. Uh, spell recharge speed. Uh, meto, metanoia, I don't know how you say that. Uh, bonus witch fire, the ability to absorb witch fire. Okay. And then luck. Uh, the luck in dealings with the witch. Luck affects many elements of the expedition, from small things like quality and quantity of items found in the world, to bigger ones like the frequency of calamities. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the cost of level up scales with each each time you level, so. I'll do one vitality. Damn, it almost doubled. That's crazy. A healing right now doesn't make a lot of sense, because you, you only have one elixir, right? I think I do Vitality on both. And yeah, now it's like 3,700. So yeah, it, it scales up pretty drastically. So now we're level 8. And we can go here. Consume. Or communicate. Um, prayer. If you can see this letter, then the mirror works properly. And we can support you in the godly work of cleansing our lands of filth. Your needs and priorities, however, if you care to share them, bits of the undoubtedly deserved spoils would help us gather the necessary components faster and motivate our gunsmith to work even harder. Um, unavailable. Close range weapon. Research will give you a short range weapon, such as shotgun. Next project. Wait, next project research time. Need more gold. Oh. So you can start research here. Medium range weapon. So this is how you unlock more weapons, I'm assuming. Next project research time. What is time? Is it minutes? Or is it expeditions or something? We'll add more arcane to the pool. Oh yeah, some of these cost gold. Some of these are unavailable. And then you can do some of these. Medium range weapon. It's like a revolver, sniper rifle, um, light spell, heavy spell. I can't craft a heavy spell. I already have a light spell for now. Okay, what if I do this? Progress. I can boost it. Maybe I have to boost it with gold if I have it. 
Okay, interesting. I wonder what 35 hourglass is. Um, Alright, cool. Should I spend all my souls? What if I pop some of these? Nah, they don't really have that much. Okay. Whoa, this is new. Requires a volatile witch fire. Okay, 5,000? Damn it. I actually had enough and I used it to level up. Um, interesting. And then there's also something I can do with my gun, I believe. Uh, visit the gun room in the hermitorium. Was there a gun room? Oh yeah, right here. Equip gear? Upgrade? Wait, no, this is not the gun room. Hold up. Uh, oh yeah, right here, gun room. Okay, I have visited the gun room. Inspect and upgrade, okay. Unveil Mysterium. This doesn't require resources. More potent regenerating witchfire essence from killed enemies. Okay. And then the next upgrade is I need to kill 100 enemies. First Mysterium Actions 60. Second Mysterium Incantations 1. I don't know what that means. So mine is like, it's like a little bit golden now. I only have one weapon now. I don't have anything. Yeah. I need to find, I guess we need to research them there. Maybe we can loot them. I haven't really killed any high tier enemies yet. So I don't, I haven't really explored that much. I want to keep trying shrooms though. <laughs> I got to find which one gives me HP. That way I can use it and save up my elixirs. All right, we go again. Scarlet Coast. Um, which fire at risk? Oh, this is how much you could lose. Worship research, active. Oh, wait, I can activate two at once. Hold up. Let me do that. I'll activate the other one that gives me a light spell. Maybe we can get like a better spell. Or we can get like two charges on our light spell that we have currently. Uh, unless I could do something here. Arcane. We'll add more arcane to the pool. I'll do that. That one's a short one. I guess I can see how long it takes. And there's nothing back here. Okay. Interesting so far. I really like this game. I like it. I never use my double jump enough. And I shouldn't. <laughs> there we go. Let me. I guess maybe I shouldn't have used one. Maybe it heals you once you get into the raid. Um, Alright, let's go. Scarlet Cove. And here we go. Yeah, don't use the, don't use the double jump. <laughs> like I just did. Okay, one thing I do need to do, though, is modify my keybinds a bit. Uh, general? No? Okay, there we go. Keyboard and mouse. I need to make my dash... Oh, it's already on mouse button. Okay. Damn, they read my mind. Alright, resume. Yeah, I gotta dash with that now. Okay, so this is bad. Looks like a freaking pair of cheeks don't eat that I there was there was some white ones that I could have tried but I didn't want to because I was scared maybe those are better okay um, dangerous area here highly dangerous area Ooh, this was more dangerous than that I could go for it you know I am not afraid or I could go here and then do this and then have, you know, recharge ammo and see if I'm ready for that. Maybe. Can I waypoint? Center waypoint. Nice. Okay, so how do I... Oh, right there. It's on my minimap, bottom left. Okay. We need to keep getting these. To craft heals. I don't know what other resources we can get, but that's, that's what I know for so far. Um, there were also some shrooms. Okay, the thing is up here. 
I'm gonna keep trying mushrooms. The ones that I haven't tried yet, at least. Collect. Rosary. Protected by Calamity Hex. This remnant of the old age radiates with black magic. If you decide to pick it up, its power might bring unknown danger upon you. It's worth six gold and the risk is moderate. And I could cleanse it. Hmm. Okay, I can get I can get three thousand witchfire shards. And then come back and cleanse it. Okay, so this is the extraction part. You pick up this stuff and then you extract with it, but it brings a risk of I guess more enemies spawning on you or something. So you don't wanna go too crazy with that. I will waypoint this area and I'll come back here once I have more souls and I can cleanse some stuff. I think that's the play. Oh, I should not have done that. I should have done this on the way back. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. Or maybe I can get more ammo. No. Alright, well that was a mistake. You need focus to reveal the magic. Okay. Guess I don't have focus now. Alright, there's stuff down there. I don't think... I tried those before. They hurt me. Alright. So my weapon has like some pretty severe... Holy fuck. My weapon's got some pretty severe damage drop off. I just got sniped. What the fuck? Okay, whoever this guy is, I swear to God. Please. <laughs> I just got this essence, man. Oh. oh, there he is. Oh my God, he flanked around. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, healing elixir. Oh my God, wait, that's crazy. I spent the entirety of last raid route getting one. Okay. Are these good? Please be good. One of these mushrooms has to be good, right? For fuck's sake. None of it is good. I don't know. You can't harvest it to craft with it later. So I don't really know if, if it, it hurts you when you consume it. What's the point? Oh. I also need to figure out how to use my other ammo. Oh, you're there. It's very nice to know. Bitch. Get out of here. I got level. Alright, that guy also dropped ammo. Okay, interesting. And we gotta level up. Give me one second, sir. Blind fire. Increase non-critical weapon damage. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't tell you by how much until you activate it. Unfreeze. I still can't freeze enemies. I don't have enough feathers to unlock the, the third one. We'll do blind fire. It increases damage, non-critical damage for 15%. Okay. Ow, bitch. I was in the menu. Fuck you. Dude, these guys suck. Alright. There goes my other elixir. <laughs> Maybe you can get like a damage regen perk. As you as you unlock stuff. Oh, that's handy. They explode. Okay, I have 3,000 now. I can actually go and cleanse one of the things. Take it back home. Is this worth a lot? That's worth four. And it costs 4,000 to cleanse. It's not as good. We got the poopy butthole mushroom again. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess we go back. I'm trying to see what's destructible and what's not. Maybe there's stuff that gives you ammo when you destroy it. I'm going to go back. I want to cleanse one of the things. Um, pick up this ammo while I'm at it. Cleanse one of the things and so I can have it on me. I don't know what that is. Looks dangerous. So I think this one of these was worth 4,000. 
Si oh, or six gold. Okay, cleanse it. All right, so now I can take it without risking much. I could also actually take both of these. Won't be able to cleanse this one, though. Fuck it. It brings more risk, but it's moderate, so maybe it's manageable. All right, what do we got here? Ammo. Is this a dangerous area? Doesn't seem like it. I'm not in the center of it anyway. Hmm. Ammo chest. So ammo chest doesn't drop heals. We know that much. I'm trying to see where the enemies are before I trigger them. I still don't know where that wisp went last time. There... If I can find heals, I'll give this highly dangerous area a shot, but it doesn't seem like there's any. Definitely need to find a way to upgrade our belt. Get more, be able to carry more flasks. There's like a mine entrance there. Oh, it is a mine. This whole area is a mine. Oh, they have a chest though. Hold up. I guess, oh yeah, I have a perk that gives me 3% chance to get an elixir when killing enemies. I guess I triggered it. That was very lucky. Oh wait, no, I don't have it anymore because each expedition resets the perk. I'm trying to see if I can... Okay, all of these chests look unprotected. Right? They gave me feathers and medium chunks of... Which fire? Oh, healing elixir. That is big right there. All right. Uh, maybe I'm getting too cocky. But I think... What is this? Invisible chest. You need higher... Genosis? Gnosis? I don't know how you say that. To see it clearly. Buddy, it's right there. But, okay, we need to upgrade... Our, our stats, basically. Interesting. Um, I might be getting too cocky, but I think we give the highly dangerous area a shot. Let me see. It's... Yeah, not that way. That's way too dangerous. Um, that area down there. And then hopefully we can get... We can get more keys to unlock that, that chest right there. All right, I need a ranged weapon so I can like snipe him and um, at least, you know, thin the herd a bit. Am I going the right way? No. It's this way. Oh, there's another thing. Okay, we need two keys. Consume. Is that different? Dude, I, I, I'm not trusting these mushrooms. Not with this low HP. Okay. Sneaky time. Wonder if you can actually assassinate. Maybe not with this class. Do they know I'm here? Yes, they do. Huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm spotted. I've been spotted. What the fuck? That was scary. Holy shit. Okay, let me see. I gotta see how it can... God, that was terrifying. I gotta see how it can switch ammo types. What the fuck, dude? Uh, next weapon, secondary weapon. Targeting, reload, melee, interact. Can you not switch ammo types? I did get different ammo types. Oh, maybe there's just weapons that use different ammo. Maybe that's how that works. Fuck's sake, dude. Relax. Hopefully I can get I can trigger that 3% chance and get an elixir. Yeah, my my weapon just like it's just the damage just dies. Whenever you're like a little bit too far, a little bit out of range.
trying not to dash off the edge of the cliff here. Oh fuck, something is angry. Whoa, oh, musket guy. Yo, how did you even hit me? Motherfucker. Fuck you. Okay. Alright, interesting. I got some sort of a stamina boost. My stamina is way bigger now. I also have my light spell. Nice. No way there's two of you. Oh, elixir. That's huge, that's huge. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Got it. Another one. Okay. I actually have backup. So another level up. I guess the dangerous or the high dangerous areas have multiple elites on them. Um, temporary damage resistance after reloading a weapon. Increased weapon damage against frozen targets. Again, there's nothing... I don't have a freeze ability. Oh, wait. Spell Arcanum. Is this the... No, this is a skill. It's not a spell. I still need to unlock the, froze, the freeze spell. Let's be on with this. Um... I can't switch. Can I get both of them? Or does it switch whenever you select another one? Either way, it requires feathers, so. Don't have enough. Claim now. Oh, my research is done here. And this one is on six. I don't know. I guess it counts it in in-game time. I don't know what how the in-game time works. Okay, well, that was a highly dangerous area. That went surprisingly well. Surprisingly well. Okay. Um, we keep going. Did I get any chests or any keys? No, can't unlock the chests. Um, oh yeah, this is where I snuck in last time. Okay. Do we get even more cocky? And we go for this one on the beach? I could. Go for this one on the beach. Maybe pick up a couple artifacts. A dormant echo of portal you arrive through leads back to Hermitorium, but waking up waking it up might not be easy. Okay, so you actually need to fight to activate that one. And then the safe one is up there. I think we go here. We see what we can find. Another mushroom. I wish you could pick it up and just test it out first. Alright. Demonic ammo. We actually could. I could go... could go here. This is dangerous. It's not highly dangerous. So I could clear that out real quick. Um, Yeah, yeah. We could do that. I need to get money... And to get items so I can upgrade and stuff, so. And also get a new weapon. This thing is nice, but it's it's very short range. Need something else. Only have one weapon for now. Okay. This is like a pretty tight area, so maybe there's not as many enemies. I'm hoping. Well this fucker is here though. Fuck you. Alright, yeah, the melee messes him up. Oh, there's two. Oh, buddy, 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 relax. Why am I stuck? Ow! Got too close to that. Oh, God, my phone. Who's calling me? Oh, God, no. Sorry. It's not even a call. It's an alarm. This is a highly stressful situation. Very highly stressful. Okay, I gotta pop a heal. Pop a squat. Ow, I, he was hidden in the mist. Fuck you. Oh, I don't have a spell. Okay. So it seems like you get a level up every time you clear an area. 
that got pretty stressful there. Um, fire rate boost, shockwave. Critical kills on shocked enemies produce a storm shockwave that knocks back and shocks all nearby enemies. I don't got the shockwave. I guess we'll get increased fire rate of non-automatic weapons. Sure. I don't have one of those, but I'll take it. Okay, so that clears that out. Dangerous area. Curious object can be seen in the distance. Uh, oh yeah, this is the same thing that I found here, like the altar, but I don't have enough. Like, I don't have enough of a stat to unlock it, I guess. I don't know what stat it is. I forgot. It doesn't seem like there's loot here. I think we go back. Go back through there. Go to this. Um, and then maybe if we're looking good, we go here. We kill whoever is here and unlock that portal and leave. Go get some money. I got 4,000. Where the fuck did you even come from? Let me use your musket, man. They respawn? Thought I killed everyone there. Okay, what is that? Okay, that's the highly dangerous area. Have I been spotted? Holy fuck, I have. <laughs> that was a quick answer. Okay. Dude, this guy with his range. Bullshit. Come here, asshole. I feel like you gotta... Okay. You gotta single this guy out. Where's my spell? Who the fuck are you guys? Oh no. I'm slowed. Oh, this might be the end. Why am I not? Oh, my stamina's out. That's why. Elixir. Huge. Holy fuck, this is a mess. Right? Nope, don't shoot. It lets you know when someone, when a ranged enemy is aiming at you, but it doesn't let you know when a melee enemy is near you. How too close to do that shit? Who the fuck? Slow again. No way, dude. Oh, you can cancel his shot. Interesting. I think a direct hit would kill me by one of those. Not sure, though. Can you get closer? Stop being a bitch. I think I'm in the portal area here. Dude, they, the way they run at you. It's so fucking freaky. No way. He perfectly predicted me where I was going. Nice. Low ammo again, dude. What the hell? No way. The timing on that. How the fuck do I even do this shit? Do I go back? That I was almost dead there. Bro, stop with the fucking alarm. Why do I even have an alarm at that time? It's 8 p.m. <laughs> this is this is so. I just got blasted right in the chest dude oh my god that guy like i jumped away and he just flicked like that was crazy aim wow okay i got too greedy there 
I will admit, I was, I was trying to, I got into between like two different areas with monsters in them, and I just can't, they kept coming from both ways. Damn, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to give that another try. We have our research that's done. Can like look at that? But yeah, we're gonna have to get back into the raid and get things done. All right, everybody, I'm gonna leave this one here. If you wanna see more videos like these, make sure to check out the playlist and also turn on those notifications because these games are always streamed live on my channel. So if you wanna tune in, hang out, have a chat, make sure to subscribe and have the notifications on. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.